So, this week I made one of the biggest classic mistakes on YouTube. I let you lot pick. And as some of you may know if you've watched my classes video, I'm quite picky with my specs. So that leads me to my first and very important question. What the fuck is this shit? Okay guys, sit down, we need to have a little chat. Although I'm proud, truly I am proud to see that Marksman is the lowest, why isn't it at zero? You know how much I dislike this zero damage, zero CC, zero pet, zero bitches spec from past videos. If we want WoW to return to its former glory days, then we need to turn off the Marksmanship Copium Ventilator and start teaching them how to really play WoW. And to those Marksmanship Hunters watching and thinking that I'm picking on them, I am. As expected with a new class, Evoker had a pretty even split, which allowed for some interesting discussion in the comments. God, I love the internet. You just know as well that one of them is going to be at the bottom of the meters in a couple of months and is never played. It's just the natural cycle. Okay, now this one really shocked me. Like, I expected to see Fire reign supreme, sure. But people actually want to play Arcane? That shit's way too confusing! You honestly think that a DPS player can handle the stress of proper mana management? Even healers struggle with that shit, and they have way more IQ than even us tank players! Please, for the love of God, mages, just stick to your crit equals boom playstyle. It's a lot easier. You'll be up there on the DPS meters, no one will complain, no one will notice. See, now it's at this point that I'm starting to think you lot are messing with me. In my mind, Destro and Demo are so unbelievably fun that by playing Affliction, it makes you a walking red flag. And trust me, I know a lot of walking red flags. But hey, maybe it's just me. But I didn't see a single Affliction Warlock in the entirety of Shadowlands. Oh wait, that's why. Considering that not everybody wants to play tank, and there's way more DPS players, this one's weirdly fair. I guess DK is one of the only well-made classes in the game. Those kind-hearted DK players just keep on winning. But now you lot have got some fucking explaining to do. You motherfuckers. I feel so disrespected. And I get disrespected a lot. I understand that there is a lot less people that play tank, but what the fuck? Vengeance is the very reason I wake up in the morning, the reason I have any friends to play WoW with, and the reason I have a stable relationship. And then, just when I lost all hope, I turn to the comments to see that mess. But I think I found my people instead. Feeling both let down and slightly confused by those comments, I scrolled up to the shaman section. I don't think I've ever been more surprised. Not only is one of what I thought the most popular healing specs voted low, but enhancement, the spec I thought stopped being played long ago, has so many votes. Either somebody's made like 50,000 alt accounts to sway the votes, or enhancements on the way back. I guess I should probably apologize for all the tumbleweed jokes then. Anyways, so I wasn't really sure what to expect with the monk, considering that people only play monk when they're actually, you know, top of the meters. But honestly, I really should have anticipated that everybody would just auto-vote the one with the name alcoholic. So yeah, sure, I mean, this one might not be as legitimate as I would have hoped, but at least the comments were gold. In the history of WoW, there has always been one consistency. Warrior players have always been turned on by Titan's grip. It literally just doesn't matter if Prot or Arms have way more fun and flexible abilities. They always just go for Fury. I think it's a compensation thing. To the few Arms and Prot warriors out there, stay strong. Your time will come. And if not, just cope. Well shit, you guys really went and did it, didn't you? Not only does this poll prove that at least half of you condone tentacle hentai, but now Matthew isn't going to heal me for weeks because you disrespected Holy. Thanks guys, really. It's not like I go around pissing off your healers. Actually, previous videos may very well have done. Moving on, we have the class that doesn't exactly exist. We finally get back on track with you guys having similar opinions to me. Outlaw slash Cole Cassidy slash Pirate RP takes the lead. A result I expected. How the fuck that Sin got so many votes is a mystery to me though. I don't know about you guys, but I always thought that Sin felt way too slow. Especially when you have high haste, double swings, fan the hammer as a contender. Paladin is just Paladin. Everybody loves Rhett, so that was pretty expected. Tanks love the Captain America lifestyle, and some love to play a spec that makes virtually no sense to the outside world. I seriously just don't get it, and I'm not surprised that it's the lowest. But luckily for you, if you like and subscribe, you can earn yourself a codex of nonsense that makes the holy spec make sense. Seriously guys, it'll, it'll, it'll come in handy, just, you know, like and subscribe. Besides proving that there are still people in the community living in the past, the Druid poll taught us that there are actually more classes that have pretty fair distribution of players. And that's not exactly something that this community needs. Favoritism, that's what we need for our community. 
So while I go off and make the tier list we all need that definitely doesn't have any form of favouritism whatsoever, you need to click on this video to discover the player behind the race.